Hello, it's Nancy today. Right, Willem? Indeed it is. It's... I wonder if I still have that earring. Yes, I do. So, um, <clears throat> and since it's Nancy today, well, I'm, I have nothing really to say. I've been sitting here eating cookies. They are so good. They're chocolate with chocolate chips. I know I'm as big as a door, but they're still good chocolate chip cookies. Willem is kind of hungry since it is 10 after 6 on February the 9th. But I've just filled up on a bunch of cookies and oranges. Lots of little oranges. So now he's hungry and I'm sort of feeling like it's sort of sort of my responsibility. I'm sort of taking it upon myself to to tend to those sort of duties in the house. But if I turn out the light at night, he has to make dinner the next day. The only trouble is he turned out the light last night. I know, I know. I tried like to fight hawk. him for it. <laughs> like a hawk. <laughs> like a hawk. He's got to get to that light switch first. Because <laughs> the rule is the one that turns out the light switch does not have to make dinner. Anyway, but guess what? Willem is now eating oranges. He doesn't want to eat cookies because he doesn't want to be as big as me anymore. Actually, he didn't say that. It's just that it, he, he wants to be less huge. We are bordering on enormous. Just ask my kids. They'll tell you how big I am. <sighs> and then they'll smile and pretend it's a joke. But we all know that they're very serious. So, it's getting kind of cold in here because the sunshine has gone away. Look at what happened to all the sunshine. It turned dark. Do you know what? I don't think that light bulbs give light. And I don't think that the sunshine gives light. I think that they suck dark. I think so. Every time you turn on a light, it sucks all the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> right, Willem? Uh, I'll just leave it to you, dear. <laughs> dark suckers. And now outside it's normal. It's dark. We'll have to wait until the dark sucker comes up in the morning to get rid of all the dark again. But I have a bunch of dark suckers in here I can turn on. See? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that's just in this one room. 900 watts of dark sucking power. They vacuum it up. Hey, you want to see my pots? Look at them. Look at them. They're getting kind of turning color. They're getting dark. I mean, light. Anyway, so since we're not really doing much, Willem has been reading me this awesome book called Life Everlasting. It's about all these people's near-death experiences. It's um, and about people's premonitions, things that happened to them before they died that let them know they were going to die and just the relating of all kinds of experiences that faithful people had. Anyway, very interesting to read. He did read Harry Potter for a while. Which book are we in now? Three. We're in three again. This is the book where he meets Sirius Black. He hasn't gotten to the part yet where he knows that Sirius Black is a good guy. I think that doesn't happen until the very end of the book, does it? It does. It does or does not? It does, yeah. It does happen at the end of the book? Yeah. Well, I said it doesn't happen until the end of the book, does it? And you said what? Yes or no? I meant to say that it happens at the end of the book. There! Now, wouldn't it just be easier to say that in the first place? No. Isn't that what I said? I thought I said it. <laughs> Right. I think we need to Skype each other. <laughs> Do we understand each other better? <laughs> what? Do we understand each other better? Well, yes. Then you could look at my face and I could look at your face. See, we can't see each other's faces. The back of our heads are sort of facing each other. Anyway, so what I was going to tell you, why I'm making this video, is to let you know that I am now going to start uploading old videos from October. 
because I have run out of things to do today or to upload today because I'm not gonna make a lot of videos anymore because it's dark and I don't have anything to do anyway I'm just gonna sit and read comments but I'm running out see if we can do something about that a eh? have to have something to do otherwise I'll have to watch Lost I'm in the second season I love Lost oh I just love it there are so many things that are so interesting in it going on and I it's so good to have watched all five seasons because now I, I understand what all things mean but still I'm not sure about the horse these three times that Kate has seen this horse what does the horse symbolize does it symbolize is it like like a guardian angel kind of thing or is it like um, you know an omen of good things or is it being possessed by the dark one or is it um, just loose on the island who knows but it only appears to Kate you know and Kate has a horse history so so I just thought I would leave that with you all right well if all else fails if you get bored just watch Nancy today <laughs> Right. <clears throat> you can do this at home. Results may differ. Husbands may differ. Furnishings may differ. Amounts of dark suckers may differ. But all in the all, all in all, we are on the same planet. That's what we have in common. The same planet. We see the same huge dark sucker out there every day. Except when it's cloudy. <coughs> or it doesn't suck as much dark okay well enough of this important conversation so the next videos coming are going to be from the past not that far ago just when I was in Georgia ta-ta